us with it. Hi guys, um, I just want to uh, bring out a point from this um, uh, videos and issue that is going on on the internet about Messi Aigbe, Adekaz and his first wife. But I want to say something about this particular point from the whole story. And this point is that he, ha he can have um, four, he can marry four wives because he is a Muslim. Yes? Okay. According to his religion, he can marry four wives. But my whole argument here and my whole point is that when he was struggling, the idea of marrying four wives, did it come to his mind? Did it come to his mind? Because from the interview that I had, uh, we all, he, he said that um, he, uh, that, uh, he said that when he graduated from university, he traveled, he traveled to U.S. or relocated to U.S. On whose back is his wife? And he said when he got to the U.S., he was doing security job. And if you have been to U.S., if, if, you know, I know a lot of people are, uh, you see, that see video, we you know, we know what I'm saying. When you are U.S. and you're a security officer, you like you are, you'll be struggling seriously. It's not everybody who is in U.S. that is enjoying. A lot of people are in U.S. They are still suffering. If you're a security officer, you will be eating from 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 uh, from hand to mouth, from paycheck to paycheck. If you're a security officer. So when he was security officer. Was he thinking of marrying another wife then? No. Okay, he said that he went to school, he got a, he did mortgage, a, a mortgage course or something. He, he had the license of, you know, to be a mortgage broker. And in U.S., as a mortgage broker, <laughs> you will, if you are not careful, of, and if you are not hardworking enough, you will still be eating from paycheck to paycheck. You will still be eating from from hand to mouth because you, you only get commission based on commission. If you don't have any brokerage job, if you don't have any mortgage brokerage job, then you 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 will not you you will be struggling. You will still be struggling. So it's not the fact that you are a mortgage bro you are mortgage broker that you are fantastic you are doing well. No, a lot of mortgage broker they are here unless you are working with big companies, and if you are not working with big corporate companies, you will still be struggling. So when he was mortgage broker in U.S. struggling with his wife, did he think of marrying another wife or second wife? No. So we should all try to understand the pain of this woman. We should, everybody should understand you know, the pain of this woman. When you are saying that, yes, yeah, he has access to four wives. When he's struggling with his wife, when the wife is struggling with him, did he ever think of marrying a second wife? No. No, you will be thinking of how to survive. This woman now will stand, stand by him. They build their empire together. They tell that everyone's supposed to sit down and be enjoying whatever you, are, you guys have brought together, whatever you are built together. That's why you're not bringing another woman in. I don't believe that there is, if there's any issue in a marriage that cannot be resolved. But him now saying that, him say, even say that, yeah. Because he, he, he is a Muslim, he can marry, he can marry another wife. But when, the, when your wife is struggling with you, when you are U.S. and when you are U.S., it's not easy. It is not easy. When you are in U.S., it is not easy. It is real struggle. You, you, uh, Mr. Adekas, our Elijah Adekas did not think of marrying another wife then. Of course, he will not because he will, be, he will still be able to take out to pay tax and to pay bills. That was what would be in his brain. And I could hear that the woman was, was even doing better than him in the U.S. Because the woman was doing business and so she's getting more money. So in other words, we can say that the woman is like the backbone until he, 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 until he, he, he comes back to, uh, to Nigeria. The woman is like the backbone. So is it that type of woman that he should, be, he should, treat, he should treat this way? I, to me, I don't think so. And I believe that if I'm not, I'm not a Muslim, I'm not a Muslim, but I believe the Muslims out there, please, you can make your comments under this video. If you're a Muslim, I guess if you want to marry another wife, you, you at least you're supposed to tell your first wife or second or third, or your wives, whatever. You're supposed to tell the, uh, the, the wives, the one you have before, new one. 
I think that's the way it works. You call uh, call her. Oh, I'm getting I'm getting married to another wife. I think that's supposed to be. It's not that you go and do one secret marriage somewhere, and you say that uh, you are a Muslim. I can marry another wife. Is that the way it is done? And that's another another thing is as a Muslim. If that I'm sorry, as a Muslim, there is no way when you marry four wives. There is no way a man can marry four wives and you will love the four wives the same way. I'm not a Muslim, but I know that it will be set up somewhere in the Quran. I think I Google it. I research it. In the Quran, that if you marry the four wives, you have to love them equally. If you marry four wives, you have to marry that four, those four wives equally. You cannot, if, if not, you, you are committing sin in the presence of God. If you love one more than the another, and there is no man, no man that can love four wives or four women the same way or equally. Example of how you can even love, if you give one 500,000 naira, one million, you have to give all of them one, one million. It's not that you give one, somebody one million naira and you give another one uh, 200,000. No. Even to, you know, to make it so clear, if you want to share apple, apple, among them, you can't, if you want to give them apple, you can't give them four apples or you can't give them four oranges. You have to give them, you have to share one apple into four. Because if you give them one, four, give them different uh, apple, four different RB. If you give them apple, different apples, one can be sweeter than the other. And that is sin before God. As, as I don't know, I'm not, I'm not a Muslim, but what, what I research, it's a sin before God. So that one apple, you will share that apple into four and give each of them. And that's how, I think that's how it's supposed to be in your Quran. I'm not a Muslim, but my whole point today is the fact that when this woman was struggling with you, did you think of marrying another wife? Did you think of, of marrying another wife when you, you struggling? I even heard that she even sold, she sold her two cars that she was using before she traveled to the U.S. She sold the two cars and invested the money, gave the money to her husband. Were you thinking of another wife then when you are struggling with your business and your business is not going, to, going well and your wife sold her two cars to support you well, 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 you think of marrying two wives then? Anyways, I, I just I, I just see this point because a lot of people they are making comments that yeah, he's, as you he have access to you can marry four wives, yeah, you, you can marry more than one because of Muslim. No, we should be thinking about this thing. If you want, if you know that you are going to you are a Muslim, then why don't you struggle struggle by yourself, struggle and get all your money? Anyway, I will use this opportunity to talk to we women out there, if you are married woman, there, how there? If you are married though, hmm, don't kill yourself, oh. Don't kill yourself that you want to be either Muslim or Christian. Because there is no, these days, with our men, there is no difference. Either when women know, either, I mean, either Christian know, either Muslim or, all of them, they are the same. There is no difference. Because the one that is carried five, four, five, four chicks, but four side chicks, five side chicks outside, having four or five girlfriends outside, what's the difference? It's just that they didn't bring it home. <laughs> one day, one day, they can bring it home. So, don't kill yourself. Don't kill yourself. The Bible says we are supporters, though. We only support. You are not to be building anything. Whatever, you are not to be building anything, though, is to support. Don't go and kill yourself, and I want to be a big empire with my husband. You will not be killing yourself. Don't kill yourself. Whatever you know you can do, whatever you know you can afford, do it. Don't go and stress yourself, kill yourself, you know, uh, punish yourself because you are, you are building whatever with your husband. You don't know what is in your mind, though. What is your husband's mind, though? Your husband, or, is, let me tell you something. It's only men that know, no, they, it's only man that knows who, they, who he truly loves. You might be his wife. Don't let me lie. No, if you are listening to there's one uh, program on uh, Inca TNC. It's uh, if you hear what most men are saying. <laughs> if you hear what most men are saying, <laughs> you women, you be careful with your lives. You will be careful with your lives. It's only man that know who he truly loves. You might be a wife. You might your husband might marry you now. You might be the wife in the house, but you are not the one that he loves. You are not the one that he loves. So the woman that he loves, truly loves, is outside. Though the woman that the man 
that the man truly loves it's ah, i don't want this video to be too long the woman that he truly loves is outside so you might be you might just be the wife or the, the person that is he, he truly loves in his heart is outside so don't don't kill yourself don't don't kill yourself whatever you can do to support your husband support but don't go and kill yourself because you want to build an empire with any man please i'm begging you guys and for ladies if uh, you're married ladies or they are married uh, the girls that you are looking to marry or you are not married or you are still single let me put it that way let me tell you something <laughs> Don't pretend you want to be building whatever. I'm not saying you should not build though. What you want to build is an advice. Because you have to learn. We have to learn from what is going on around us now. I'm not saying you should not build though. But the Bible say you are to support. The Bible does not say you are to build. Support. Support. You are just to support the man. And men, that you, you, after you, when you are not comfortable, when you are struggling, when you are looking for, you know, looking everywhere to make it in life. And then God, God now bless you with wonderful woman. God now bless you with a woman of your heart that can stand by you. And the woman that will now be with you, build the empire with you. The next thing, the next thing is to go and say you want to marry another wife. Other Muslim, other Christian. Because I can't even, these days, like, no difference. No, even some Christian, they have, they have multiple baby mamas outside, more than Muslims. So, there is no difference. Do not be thinking that you now is the time for you to have another woman. <laughs> anyway, women, I'm talking to women. Hmm? If you are still single again, I'm coming back to single people. Eh? Please, please be careful be very very careful and men you know you i mean i mean the single ladies the singles what i want to say don't go and say and um, mama will say what do you bring to the table let the man go and look for the table build the table by himself put all the food there the first course the second course the third course the appetizer the main dish the dessert let him put everything there. If you like, you can just buy a pot of water and put beside it on the table. Don't let any man be telling you what did you bring to the table. And after you have gone, you have gone to look for the wood uh, to build the table with the man. You've gone for the nail. You've gone for everything to build the table. You build the table. You went out to you struggle, struggle to get the food on the table to get the drinks on the table. And it's now time. The food is set. The table is set. With food, with water, with drinks, with wine, is high time for you to sit down with the man, with your children to be enjoying. That's when the man will not think that, oh, I need to marry second wife. The table is big enough, so we now be bringing, uh, 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 bringing more wives. Please don't do that, oh. I will say, don't do that. Let the man go and look for the. If you like men, abuse me. <laughs> I want to abuse me. Abuse me well, well. Abuse me well, well. Because this does not make sense. You guys should sit down and, and reason as well. What, this thing that you men are dishing out for, to women, can you take it? These things that men, that you, that you dish out to women, can you take it? Can you take it? Just th think about it. Can you take what to dish out? Can you take what to dish out? You can, no, most of you cannot take it. Most of you, when you hear that your, your wives you commit adultery or something, you want to die, you want to kill yourself. No. Can you take it? You cannot. You cannot. Yes, I'm not struggling. I'm not arguing that you are not the head of the home. You are the head of the home. Yes, you are the head. I'm not struggling the position with you. Or I'm not arguing that you are not. You are the head. That's why you are the head. That's why you should provide the table. Abby, you are the head now. You provide the table. Make the table. Provide the table. Provide the food. Everything on the everything, all the eatables, anything eatable, you provide it on the on the table with water, drinks, wine, everything. Then you call me to come and sit down and eat. And I will sit down and enjoy and eat the food. So if you want to have more than have four wives, then you can have like four, five, twenty wives. You are the owner of the table, you are the owner of the food. Hey, hey. It's not that you now call me, oh, okay, let's look for the wood. I will go and look for the wood, look for the nail, uh, make the table. Then I will go again, uh, look for the food, the ingredients, everything. We make the food ready, the drinks, everything will be ready. 
we do it together from the scratch. After you are comfortable that yes, now it's time to sit down and be enjoying. Not say you are bringing somebody else. No, now, no, now. So my sisters, please oh, <laughs> you guys should wise up oh. If any man said ask you what are you bringing to the table, tell him to bring. You should be the table. You you should you you are the head now. Should be going to be the head. But hey, you have to provide the table and the food. You have to provide. You are the head now. Provide the head and the food. Provide the food table. Provide the table. Provide the everything and the food. And I will say, women, singles, the one you will be building with any man, build your life, build yourself, build yourself, build your service team. I'm not saying being independent. You, you can be independent and you 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 you, you will still be submissive. You can be independent of your financially, and you, you that doesn't mean that you should not listen to your husband, you should not be obedient to your husband. No, or you should not be submissive. No, no, it doesn't mean that you can be independent and you still be submissive. You are financially independent. Build your life, build your career, build your everything you need to build in your life, build yourself, build your business, build your education, build your build everything about your life. Be useful to your life. Ah. Please be useful. You see, you see, you're the cast wife. Ah, I love that woman die. Ah, in fact, you see, she doesn't even talk. You know, since all this buhaha, she only spoke two times. She doesn't even smoke on the on the internet on the uh, on this on her IG page. She the first time she just threw the atomic bomb. Boom, the whole internet went gaga. Yeah, she didn't say anything. The second yesterday, two days ago, she threw another atomic bomb. Boom. Everywhere catch fire. Everywhere, even even Messi Aigbe, Messi Aigbe locked. She locked a comments uh, comment session on a, on a IG page. She locked it fast. She locked it. I just love that woman. She's so classy. She's so ah, so so elegant. So amazing. So amazing. So fantastic. She just she didn't talk. She didn't even hug you. And if you look at her post, she didn't abuse, it's not an abusive post. She didn't abuse anybody. She didn't abuse the husband. She didn't abuse Mercy. She just said, she, you lied. That's not, what, that's not what happened. And says, soon to be husband. Soon, I mean, soon to be ex-husband. That's an independent woman. So one woman will not come and just, be, just rubbish you. One man will not just, I'm not saying that we should not be submissive. Me, I, I. I'm um, an advocate of, you have to be submissive to your husband. You have to respect and honor your husband. You have to respect and honor your husband. But when, when, when situation comes, no man will rubbish you. No man will rubbish you. No man will just rubbish that, what are you going to do? That's the, it, being independent does not mean that you should be, uh, you should be disobeying your husband. Does not mean that you should root to your husband. No. It's for you to be independent of yourself. That if anything happens, if something happens, you can stand on your two feet without shaking. That nothing can shake you. You yourself will be a man. I'm not saying that you should be a man to compete with your husband. No. But you, you yourself will be a man. You yourself will be a man that your husband can say, Oh, sweetheart, can I have one million naira from you there? And you, you write your check and give it to him. The husband will say, "Hold, oh, can I, can I, can I get two million? I could want to use it for my business." You, that's the type of woman Miss Sadekazi is. That's the type of woman Miss Sadekazi is. That's the type of woman the husband can and meet. Oh, can I have five million naira from you? I, I will give you later. She will write the check and give to her husband. So no man can rubbish you. No man can say, "What, what, what can you do?" It's only when you are you are so dependent on your husband 100 percent even with the money for handkerchief, the money for pants, the money for bra, the money for toothpaste, we asking your husband. If your husband can come to you, oh, I need I need to a ten thousand dollar there. Can can I quickly get it from you? You write the check and give it to him. Let him try rubbish. You you will not even talk. Let him try rubbish. You say it's okay. And you move on. Please, ladies, build your life. Build your life, and if a man asks you what you bring to the table, let tell him to provide the table. He's supposed to provide the table and provide the food, because tomorrow now you go and invite more women to be on the table. That's what I have to say, guys. Thank you very much. Bye bye.